everyone. Welcome to a little Sunday vlog. It'll probably be short. I'm going to show you a little bit. Um, and then I'll share some tickety talks with you. I have been busy this weekend just working. I have been filming for my other channel, my self-publishing channel. I started a TikTok account and a website for my low content books that I publish under my Jean Lee publishing pen name. So my journals, planners, notebooks, coloring books. So working on that because I'm trying to create a brand under that. And yeah, it's just been a lot of computer work and filming. It is so nice and sunny out, but then you go outside and it is cold and I am slanting a little because I've just been cleaning. Cleaned my dad's bathroom and bedroom. Then I dusted the rest of the house. I need to vacuum the living room and then I need to do the floors. And then in my bedroom, office, hallway, bathroom, and then clean more of my bathroom. I'm gonna be a sweaty mess by the time that's done. And then it'll be time to take a shower and tonight's Sunday. So we've got The Walking Dead. Is there anything else on Sunday? I feel like there's something else on Sundays. What am I missing that's on Sunday? Outlander. We've got Outlander and we've got The Walking Dead tonight. So, anywho, I'm down in the basement. I'll, I know I've been giving you guys kind of an update on the rearrangement down here. I don't, I haven't done too much, but I'll give you a look. Okay, so <laughs> this is stuff that's listed on eBay. That's listed on eBay. These are things that I'm probably going to take to the consignment store in the fall. I should fold those sweaters and not hang them. Um, collectibles that I've gotten. What is this? A random. I think I was going to give that to my brother for his store. I've got my miniature doll houses and all this stuff. That is all consignment store stuff that I meant to take this year. But because of COVID and staff shortages... I never was able to get it there, so that's next winter. Um, what else? And then this side, I'm still just pulling things, reorganizing things. If I want to list it on eBay or just give it to my brother, and that's really honestly the preferable thing is to just give it to my brother and decide then what I'm going to keep. Um, but I don't come down here that much because I need it upstairs. So this is always... A work in progress and then I feel like I come down and I got like this toe out and I do one thing and then I flip around and then I make more of a mess so I don't know what's going on but anyway that is what that looks like I was trying to create like a Funko display there and now that's a mess 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 whatever it's my basement okay I can do as I please in my own basement who has a lot of grow goose me 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 what series are you are you serious? there's a see let me tell you, Hasbro and Disney, they will get you. A, keep releasing new series of these, and there's like six in a set. And it's, whole, oh, you know what I should have done? If you see Grogu here, and you're a reseller, and you see him in any of these like holiday sets, or actually, honestly, these little ones, because these tend to sell out fast, and then they're collectible, because there's usually, like I said, in this one, six in a set. I think there were three of these this year. They are the exact same thing as some of these are, um, but he's just in the little Christmas suit. Y'all look on eBay and see what this little set is selling for, or even just an individual one. So if you see Grogu, I don't think they have an Easter one, but when Christmas time rolls around or when you're out garage selling this um, summer, look for anything. Honestly, Baby Yoda sells well, but these like little Hasbro figurines look for those Funkos, Disney, all that kind of stuff. Um, cause these things, if I had known, I would have bought the whole case at Target, <laughs> but anyway, you never know, right? That's with collectibles. You never know if it's actually going to be a collectible. I was at Sam's club the other day and poor Grogu was on clearance there. The one that they had, I just kept that cause it had Grogu on it. I got these at five below how adorable and they smell i have another box a packet of them where did they go but i'm just going to keep them in the packet i'm still planning on getting a bulletin board and then hanging things like this from the bulletin board have i done that yet no because i need to go to staples what's in here um naked trolls look away baby look away um yeah i got these caligo critters 
I am going my see here these little sets I got these at Aldi they're so cute three plus anyway um yeah I you know I had the dream that these shelves are just gonna be so organized with my collectibles and I can come down and look at them but then they're in a box and then they're in a bag and then there's that that's the Barbie box but how did Rose from the Golden Girls get in there I don't know We've got strawberry shortcake over here. Been sitting there forever. Ugh. I'm, I'm so stressed. I need to go see the fireworks show at the Magic Kingdom. Is that the fireworks show? No. There. Yay. Although I wouldn't go to Disney World right now if you paid me. It is so crowded down there. I mean, everywhere is crowded. Let's face it. Travel is so pent up. I also want to find a place to display my posters. I've been getting like, okay, I have a Disney Visa card and it gets rewards on it. Of course, I used to use my rewards to go to Disney World. However, I can't go. Um, and I, like I said, it's too crowded. I don't want to go. But when I get enough points, I go on Disney Store Online and just buy things I want. So I've been getting these posters for free. Well, with my points. Um, I have four right now. How cool are these? I love Epcot. Um, and I just want to get more of them. So when I have, you know, money saved up. Oh, Soren, I love you. The American Adventure, best show ever. People skip it. And I don't know what their problem is. Illuminations, Spaceship Earth. Oh, miss it all. We're getting a new theme park here. It'll be fun. I'm, I plan to hopefully be able to go and film videos at our new theme park when it opens. Sounds like it might open some soft openings in weekends in May. But we'll see. So anyway... Um, I am going to make something for dinner now, and I thought I would show you guys uh, what I put together. Hi, Teddy. Are you going to help me in the kitchen? Are you going to help me in the kitchen? Where's brother and papa? Where's brother and papa? Oh, they're sleeping. They are sleeping. Don't disturb. So I have some ingredients that I need to use up. So I'm going to make what I refer to as spaghetti casserole. Um, so I'm going to cook the spaghetti and then I'm going to toss this with some butter and some parm and then layer that in the pan. Maybe I'll spray that too. Then I'm going to make a cheese mixture to put on top. I thought I had mozzarella. I don't. So I'm going to use this. I think I have some more. I might use that to toss the spaghetti. Oh, oh, I do have a little mozzarella, no, Parmesan. I'm gonna shred this up and mix. I don't, I don't really wanna use this. I'd rather have mozzarella, but we'll, oh, maybe I'll just do this, the egg. I guess I could use more of that cheese. I'll use this cheese in the spaghetti. Then I'll use this cheese with the mozzarella and the egg for the cheese mixture. And then I'll use some of this on top. Um, that I guess that's what I'll try. I can shred that up a little bit, give it a little bit more, um, mix the cheese stuff with the egg. So it'll be the spaghetti, cheese mixture, pasta sauce on top, and then just bake it at 350 for, I don't know, 30 minutes or so, just gonna cook through. So, ugh, I don't like that. I mean, maybe it'll taste, oh, I'm sorry, I just burped. I literally just burped on camera. I am so sorry. It might taste good, we'll see. I gotta use stuff up, so one pot, we'll just give it a go. So I've got one egg, the ricotta cheese, that container I had of half-opened Parmesan cheese, and then I threw in some of these garlic gold Parmesan nuggets. I think I got these from Thrive Market. I don't know, they, they smell amazing. I've made garlic bread with them before, so I threw some of those in there. Um, for some extra flavor, I put the two open, oh, what is that? It is a stray noodle that fell out of somewhere. Um, the jar of sauce that was half open and then some of my own homemade sauce, mix that together. And then I've got the spaghetti boiling. I'm gonna put in half a stick of margarine and toss it with Parmesan cheese for the first layer. So I drained the pasta, now we'll get the all mixed around with the margarine, not butter. We use blue bonnet. Did I already melt? Where'd it go? Uh, hello, man. 
Maybe that melted already. Oh, wow. No, there it is. It's like, gosh, do I need more? I feel like half a stick should be enough, but I made the whole thing of pasta. Maybe I should put the other stick in. Oh, I think, or half a stick. I think I will. All right, put the other half in there. Make sure it's nice and buttery, won't stick together. Where'd it go now? Come back. <laughs> there you are. And then I'll toss it with Parmesan. So there is the pasta in the pan and now I'm gonna put the cheese mixture on top. Cheese layer is on and now I'm going to pour the tomato sauce. I put those, I had some little chunks of parm. I cut them up a little bit more and I put them in here. So again, I'm just trying to use stuff up. Oh boy. This gives you all the flavors of lasagna without all the work. Now for the ippy part, I'm gonna put the cheddar on top. I don't think I've ever made, I know people do this, so I know it's not like crazy unusual. Oh no, cheese fell on the floor. That's great. Teddy's gonna have some cheese. Okay. <laughs> I know people do this, I'm just used to mozzarella. So I'm gonna cover it and bake it at least 30 minutes and I'll see what it looks like. So it's been cooking for about 30 minutes. I just took the foil off, so we'll give it some more time, get the rest of that cheese on the top melted. How you doing, Dad? You say hi to the camera? Hello, camera. Hello, camera. Have you had a lot of naps today? What's that? Have you had a lot of naps today? I hope so. Yeah. Charlie's had a lot of naps, Charlie. Yeah, you good boy. Charlie's a good boy. Charlie, a good boy. Teddy's a good boy, too. He has a lot of energy. <laughs> Teddy, you have a lot of energy? Charlie, you gonna get down and play? He's like, oh, I'm on the move. I'm on the move. Okay, here's what it looks like. I put it under the broiler for um, about 30 seconds just to get the cheese on the top. It was really bubbling a second ago. <laughs> um, just get that fully melted down. So anyway, I'm gonna dish it up and we'll see what it looks like. Can I do this one-handed? There. Kind of mush it up, get some of that cheese on top. There we go. This is the portion I'm gonna give my dad. He won't want much, but hopefully he'll eat this. Teddy, I'm sorry you can't have any. We gotta eat dinner now. Do you wanna say to everybody that we're gonna put the TikToks in now so the people who like the TikToks can watch those, okay? Yeah, and if they like this video, give it a thumbs up and we'll see them in the next one. Okay, yeah, so get ready for the TikToks. Bye. Popped into this family run estate sale. It was the third and final day and you can see from the prices, <laughs> it was very high for what little bit they had left. They really didn't have very much left. Um, and unfortunately, too, when I walked in, it was hit with a smell. Um, old house, but really beautiful and in a very desirable neighborhood in my city. So um, I'm sure when it goes up for sale, it will sell fast. And the other thing about coming to a sale like this is everybody in the neighborhood is now over here and they're all chatting. So it was like a lot of people to just plow through because they were talking. Um, I do not do dishes anymore. I will not look at prices or markings of that stuff. But you can see they didn't have much left. I was really at this point more interested in the house itself and just looking at all the details. They had this lovely like three season porch in the back with, you know, some more random stuff. They started on Thursday, I believe, and this was Saturday when I went and they said they sold a lot. So uh, here we go up the stairs. Again, beautiful woodwork. We got the wallpaper, but this house has just so much lovely detail that I'm sure whoever buys it um, can do some renovating and really make it nice. Bathroom, cut through to this other bedroom, which is a pathway. I mean, I mean, could make this like a walk-in closet probably. And then I just looked out the window. You can see it's across from school. And then who remembers going to grandma's house and sitting on radiators as a kid? Couldn't go down there. It was blocked off. 
And this was the random room of shoes on the floor and clothes. And I could hear them talking. I guess this was their grandmother's house. And they said grandma was not happy about wherever they were moving her to. But this would be difficult for an elderly person. Look at those um, doors there. And I'm just kind of trying to show you the woodwork without being obvious about filming. And then we're back into this dining room area. Showing you this hutch. And then look at the sign there. Did I even feel? I missed it. It said, yeah get the plates for three dollars and then give cookies and brownies to friends this wasn't even marked it didn't even have a mark on it so i'm like why is it so expensive but again i don't do dishes anymore but i love that built-in cabinet love it and that was it i didn't get anything but it was fun to look inside of the house i'm finally getting to taste test some of the candy I ordered from Hello Sweets. I will tag them here. I've been sick, so I just haven't been eating much of anything. So finally getting better though, and I'm gonna pull three things out um, to test. So I thought I'd do fruity things. So the first thing I'm gonna do is this e-fruity gummy cupcake. It says it is a spongy gummy center. And this came in the small mystery box that I ordered. They have small, medium, and large. Well, it's freaking adorable. I kind of hate to eat it. Oh, the bottom come right off. That is fruity. That is no lie. That is fruity. I'm assuming it's lemon. That is a very... Interesting texture, almost like a marshmallow texture, but a gummy. And now I have this extra top to save for later. It's good, these are good. Next up is this Starburst Swirlers. I've never had one of these before. This was also in the mystery box. And it says it's orange and strawberry, so. So it's like the Starburst little candies, but swirled together. Oh, this is interesting. It's good. Kind of nice way to eat a Starburst without like having to unwrap each individual little piece. So yeah, thumbs up on this one. And finally, something I haven't had in years, and it is a licorice pipe. Used to go uh, to Vinton, Iowa a lot. That's where my parents are from. We have family there. And it had a like convenience store with a lot of old fashioned candy in it. I would always get one of these licorice pipes. Oh yeah, it's soft. Mmm. I know they have these in black as well, but this is red, obviously. And this is something that you can order individually from them. Oh my gosh. I was trying, I felt like, oh, this is gonna be like super hard, but it's actually really, really soft. So this is so good. I'm probably eat this whole thing. And yeah, so far, thumbs up from everything that I've gotten. So make sure to like and follow for more taste tests. Back with another review of some candy I ordered from Hello Sweets, and I will tag them. Um, I got a Whatchamacallit and a Woozy What's It. Now, I've had Whatchamacallits before, but it's been a long time. I've never had a Woozy What's It. So let's dig into this. So the Whatchamacallit is chocolate peanut flavored, oh, chocolate comma peanut flavor crisp and caramel. It's been a year since I've had. Oh, what you do you call it? What you call it? I think that was the theme song. Ooh, chewy. Mmm, mmm. Uh, it's all coming back to me now of the what you call it. Mmm, you get kind of that peanutty flavor. Got the caramel and the good chocolate. What brand of chocolate is this? Is this Mars, Hershey's, another brand? What do we have? Oh, it's Hershey. Hershey chocolate. Hershey chocolate only tastes good if there's something around it. Plain, I'm not a fan. But this, definitely good. Now we have the Woozy What's It. And this is chocolate, chocolatey crisps, and peanut butter candy. So no caramel in this. 
and the crisps are chocolate flavor. I know I've never had one of these. If I did, it's too long. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a crunchy break. There's the difference. So it doesn't have the caramel. Let's try this one. Choo, choo, choo. This one, I'm really only getting chocolate flavor. I'm not even really getting much of the peanut butter. I don't know. This one, I mean, if you, I don't know. The regular, to me, is so much better. But let me know um, if you've had both, which is your favorite. The whatchamacallit or the woozy what's it i'm definitely team whatchamacallit in this one my walmart beauty box has arrived it says it is the spring beauty box if you just google walmart beauty box you can find these they are seasonal and i think they're seven dollars so uh let's pop in here we've got a little card and here is what it looks like so this time around i got this True Skin Vitamin C Facial Serum. Got a nice full size. Uh, this is Lottie of London and it is Slay All Day. And this looks like a matte lipstick or lip gloss. Yeah, matte liquid lipstick. Then, ooh, little bottles. Are you traveling this summer? Is anybody going on a vacation? I'm not, but that's nothing new. We have Garnier Fruit Trees. We have the Sleek and Shine Shampoo and the Sleek and Shine Conditioner. Nice size bottles of those. We got some Liquid Nutrition and then we have some little packets. We have Found Argon Sheet Mask and then the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Care. So this box, honestly, not that exciting. I don't think we really got that much and I don't know worth seven dollars I'm sure the liquid lip was a seven dollar product so I guess you can look at like you got this and everything else free I don't know let me know what you think and let me know if you get this box